Okay, so if you bought this code directly from here, then I'm going to show you how to install the code and of course install it locally and after that uh, run the code and connect backend and our front end together. All right, so after downloading it, you should go wherever you have kept your file. So over here, I have my file in the downloads folder. So I'll go there, downloads. And then chatty app code, this is where I have everything. So here I have this chatty zip, this is for front end, this is for um, back end, and this is our database, okay? Now, of course, uh, we do see that we have this database. Now, this is in my place over here, actually. So I'm going to double click it and it's going to unzip it. So this is the exact database that we actually need to go ahead and uh, upload it our uh, database server. Now, over here, I can just simply rename it, maybe chatty app, but it doesn't really matter, but it looks good, okay? All right. So in my case, I'm going to use MySQL Workbench like this one instead of PHP MyAdmin. You can also do that, or if you're using XAMPP server, you can also work with that. It doesn't really matter. So after that, I booted it up over here, and then I'm going to create a new database over here. So I'll select Schema over here, and then I think at the top I'm going to. Uh, click on this one it just you create a new database table that doesn't really matter you can also do the same using MySQL uh, PHP my admin sorry all right so here I'll just call it ch chatty app demo it doesn't really matter you can call your database anything and I'll do here apply and then we are good to go and then I'll close it okay right now this is the one that actually we created over here and then after this we need to upload it right so at the top if you have this one you should go to the server section and then over here you do data import now for my skill php my admin actually it's relatively easy just click upload and select your file after creating the database table name select upload and upload your file that's all now I'm going to select this one from here. Over here I'm going to click on this and then I'll go to this downloads where I have my uh, code which is this one actually and then I'm going to select this, that's all. The idea is you have to select your folder and then you have to import it. But of course you also need to import it here, which database. So this is the database that we have selected right and then start import and hopefully there shouldn't be any error and it says it's uh, completed actually so with this uh, we are over here and actually if you click on tables let's see well we, we don't have any errors so we should be good to go so after refreshing it we see that our database tables and everything is over here now database table and database is actually ready. Now this is the time we go ahead and actually connect it with our uh, backend. So which means that we also have to connect our database with the backend. Database is running, but it's not connected yet. So I'm going to open up this one actually, and then I'm going to double click this. And this is the, actually the backend, all right. Anyway, so now we can just simply go ahead and remove that. We don't need this. As it goes on, actually, we can also unzip our front-end Flutter framework. Now, it doesn't really matter. Now, I'll come over here and I'll do clean and I'll see that uh, others are gone over here. Now, I'm going to select this, select the folder, the back-end folder, and drag and drop into on MySQL, sorry, Sublime Text, I'm sorry. Now over here, we are going to first change this to actually localhost. We don't need this thing. So after that, we're gonna select our .env file and the first thing we wanna change over here is uh, uh, change this to actually 
to localhost so you can just simply call it localhost and in my case my database name was uh, if you remember uh, the database name was chatty app demo and username well actually in general rule that is the database server username and I'm gonna so I had the password in database server that is set up as this now if you are you if you are you if you are a Mac user so in general your password should be root if you're Windows ZAMP user password so far I think is empty so you don't need to type in it so if you are a Windows ZAMP user actually username should be root but password I guess that should be empty but you should know what is your username and password so first now we'll all have to, I mean this is the basic changes that we should make over here this one and uh, our database name database username and password all right uh, this is the rest of the thing we'll deal with later because for this setup we have another video uh, which I will show you anyway so now I'm gonna go to this terminal over here and we know that in the terminal we have this now I'm going to select a chatty dot code this one over here so I'm inside this and now a uh, few things I would first do inside this I would run PHP uh, artisan cache clear PHP artisan config clear and after that I'm gonna run PHP artisan serve if things are good actually it would put up our uh, server like this and with this actually we are pretty much connected now we'll come over here and put it here and we'll see if we can access this okay here we do get 200 which means everything is fine now over here if you do admin let's see okay so looks like we can access the admin section so the password is one two three four five six so let's go ahead and uh, log in and there's our backend actually and uh, if we have users that and registered in our app actually they would be over here now some of the users actually coming from our uh, old database and they are not useful you can just go ahead and delete them it doesn't really matter okay anyway so yeah so that's the basic setup of the backend so backend is up and running that also means that our uh, code which is front-end code that should be up and running as well so now I'm going to copy this and uh, I mean drag and drop the folder on my actually one more time let me try it here on my Android studio you could also do it on VS code so I'm going to open up it here and hopefully it should work okay so once you are here uh, first thing you want to do you want to go to the terminal and then you should run a flutter pub get okay so here would run flutter the best thing you should do actually flutter clean is the best one actually because if it carried anything from the old system you can just remove that and then flutter pub get Okay, it looks like everything is uh, uh, going pretty well now you can if you are on Android you can just directly go ahead and run it but I'm gonna run it on iOS so I'm going to go to this iOS folder and inside this I'm gonna inst I'm gonna do pod install so it's gonna install all the dependencies that we need all right okay great and we are almost done all right, so it looks like our app is running and over uh, here we have some basic information. Now, if you want to do it from your local host, so over here you need to change it to local host and then actually you should be good to go. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so we are connected over here with this local host. So yeah, go ahead and write your local host like this and you should be good to go but for Android if you use Android to do that so it should be I guess like this so make sure for if your device is Android you do 
110.0.22 instead of 127. All right. So yeah, that's how you go ahead and install it. Thank you.